right? No! Yes, that's true. Come on. How many girlfriends... Um, actually, let me ask the boys. How many of you were dragged here by your girlfriends tonight? Raise your hand if this is true. Come on, don't be ashamed. Raise your hand. Hi. Oh, really? Waving around like you just don't care. <laughs> cool. That's true. I know you'd probably um, rather be watching footy, right? No? No. See, I'm so glad that we can all agree on one thing, that we both support United. We're dragged here by their girlfriends that would rather be somewhere else having a cup of. What are you screaming about? I do have another question. And I'm not so good with banter. It's not really my cup of tea. 11,000 people, I typically just ramble. I don't know what to say. I'm not used to playing in front of these huge crowds. But I do have a question for you. And then I'll start singing again. How about that? How many of you have Facebook? I do too, and I've got almost like 30 million friends, so booyah. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to tell you facts. That's all. Do you know, question, girls? Are you anything like me that you use the Facebook for stalking? You shouldn't have been that loud. It's not a good thing. Shameful. I have used social networking for stalking in the past. I must admit, not anymore. But I remember in the past when MySpace was really hip and cool. I remember getting messages from like boys I used to hang out with. Stick my tongue down my throat. Girls, do you ever get those messages from exes? Strange, like so much time has gone by, we all turned to another social medium. Sometimes you get a message from a boy and you're like, oh my god, I haven't seen or heard from him for like five years. I wonder what he looks like and what he's doing and if he still thinks of me. So you go on their avatar, you click their picture to go on their page, and you read their wall. Sometimes those people have like two kids, right? Those kids are supposed to be mine. Those are my kids. I mean, those kids back. So you look at all the pictures of them playing in the park with their kids, all really sweet and fun, and that ugly bitch he married. <laughs> and you're, you're like, oh, oh, I'm gonna be anonymous. I'm gonna write in the comments. But you have to erase that comment because it is totally inappropriate. All that to say. I know that some of you have maybe had that experience or that feeling once in your life or maybe in the future it'll happen because I know, because I've done it, I've done it before, I've said forever, but I didn't do forever. It's a lot easier to say than do. And so on that moment, when I thought of that, I wrote this song, it's called The One That Got Away.
you and you were my Johnny Cash, everyone without the 